Number two says the tires on a new compact car have a diameter of two feet and are warranted for 64,000 miles. A. Determine the angle and radians through which one of these tires will rotate during the warranty period. And B. How many revolutions of the tire are equivalent to your answer in A? So we know um, that the diameter of the tire, so the diameter is equal to two feet, and that means that the radius, so the radius is equal to, equals one foot, right? And so it says that the they are warranted, so the it's giving us this, this uh, path length, S, S equals 64,000 miles, miles. And so we've got to convert this to feet because we have to have all of our units together. Or we could convert feet, the one foot to miles would be like 0, 0.0 something something miles, but I would rather go the other way around. So you take 64,000 miles, 64,000 miles, over 1 times 5,280 feet in 1 mile and so that will convert, cancel out your miles and your answer will be 5,280 feet times 64,000. So that is uh, 33792 followed by four zeros so thousands um, so 337 million 920 thousand feet is how far the tire is warranted for. So we got to set up our equation. So uh, I don't want you to mistake this. This is I'm just drawing a circle up here and showing the diameter. So the diameter and this is the radius. Down here, this is the angular, uh, the angular displacement. So angular displacement equals s over r, and we know what s equals because S is, is 337 million um, feet. And we know what R is, R equals, R equals 1. So any number divided by 1 is that very same number. So the, the number of radians, the, the radian degrees in radians, the, or not degrees, but the angle in radians is equal to, to the um, 337 million nine hundred and twenty thousand feet so it's the, the feet in miles is the same as the radians I hope that's not confusing so uh, how did I get there so I converted I converted the the uh, s so in, in other words um, s equals equals um, equals the angular displacement because because s over r also equals s because r is 1 so s over r equals the angular displacement but since r is 1 s equals angular displacement so this is s and that equals angular displacement so then it asks the question how many revolutions of the tire are equivalent to your answer so if you remember there are there are two two pi radians so two pi radians is equal to one revolution and so if we have if we already know that our 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 radians is 337 million nine hundred and twenty thousand then we can we can divide we, we can divide that answer by two pi so 337 million nine hundred and twenty thousand divided by 2 pi equals um, the answer is 5378163837 so there's the comma so it's 53,781,638.37 revolutions and so just again how did we get that so we wanted to say how many revolutions are in a radian well there are two pi re there are two pi revolutions for every radian and so so a radian um, uh, two pi or we'll say two pi radians in every in every revolution and so we have to divide the number of radians by two pi in order to find the number of revolutions so so in, in other words radians um, equal 
or actually let's let's put it in in these terms so that it's easy. So if I have x radians over over two pi over two pi radians, it equals um, x revolutions over over one revolution. And so we we know what one is. That one is one. So so all we got to do is divide x uh, as divide the number of radians we have because we know that by two pi, and it will tell us. And this this should be different than this should be probably a y or something because it's not going to be the same as this x over here. So we'll say y revolutions. If we know how many radians, then we can just simply divide by two pi on that radians and get what y is because because 2 pi radians equals 1 revolution we can just add a layer to that and say x so we set up our our fraction and that should be equal as well and, and so the reason this is equal because a the bottoms are both equal and by themselves and the top are both equal by themselves so we're saying how many radians in and so we have a certain number of radians in how many revolutions so these have to be equal these these radians have to equal these revolutions and so we already know that the bottom equals and and that's how so you have in or whenever you're setting up fractions like this these ratios so when you're setting up ratios both the top uh and the bottom whenever they're both equivalent you can set them up like that so i guess i'm explaining that poorly but i think you probably get it now also typically typically we we say we have x radians over 2 pi radians equals y revolutions over 1 revolution so typically we would multiply this to this side but because any time you divide by 1 it is essentially it is just um that same number so this would actually just cancel itself out and you would just say x radians over 2 pi radians equals y revolution since the revolutions were there the re so it's just this number over this number and then you pick which uh unit you're converting to